exciting time. Uh, we are uh, learning uh, tremendously uh, from the immune landscaping of cancer. We can study how cancer instructs and uh, recruits immune cells, and we are discovering that this is uh, happening in a very specific, tumor-specific way, which is to say that the genetic makeup of cancer impacts the way by which uh, immune cells are recruited, and this is tremendously important for tailoring therapies because we are now aware and able to hijack the immune system against the cancer, to reprogram the immune system against the cancer. So the knowledge, the detailed knowledge of the cancer immune landscape and the detailed knowledge on how the genetic makeup of cancer can impact the immune cells and the stroma uh, which surrounds cancer, is extremely important to tailor therapy. The, the take of, of my presentation uh, from the data which we are obtaining in the mouse hospital is that uh, if we don't know the genetic makeup of cancer and the specifics whereby the cancer attracts and reprograms, instructs the immune system, uh, we will not be able to uh, use effectively such immune therapies. But nevertheless, uh, this is a, an extremely exciting moment in the history of uh, cancer therapy because there is, for the first time, the convergence between these two lines of investigation, whereby on the one end uh, we have learned a lot about the mechanism that cause cancer and the reason why cancer evolves and we have learned ways to block the cancer cell and kill the cancer cell in a very specific way. On the other end, we are learning a lot about the immune response and how to reactivate the immune response towards cancer and never as now these two uh, lines of investigation are converging and the convergence of these is happening right now and, and there is enthusiasm because we see that patients respond to such therapies, uh, there is efficacy and uh, there is a lot to do however because we need to learn how to combine uh, these uh, targeted therapies, these uh, molecular therapies vis-a-vis -vis the immune therapies. And to this end again the detailed knowledge on how cancer can uh, impact on the microenvironment is uh, tremendously important. So the take home of my lecture is that uh, these two uh, lines of investigation, the detailed knowledge of the genetic makeup of cancer and the immune therapy and the knowledge on how to uh, resuscitate, to uh, revitalize the immune system towards cancer have to uh, be taken into account and are meant to converge towards a personalized, specific, effective cancer therapy.